gift or some money for this joy to come in. That will make you happy. And as soon as it's finished, you're going back to sadness. But the joy of the Spirit is an ever-bubbling source of unspeakable joy that no sorrow, even if somebody died in your family, there still would be something inside of you holding you because the joy of the Lord has become your strength. It's the joy of the Holy Spirit. It must be in your life. Love, joy, peace. Is there peace in your home? Or is it filled with arguments? Listen, it's only my wife and I alone at home. And we could have an argument if we want to. Be real with you. Because my wife is very fussy. When it comes to housekeeping. I am allotted a small section <laughs> of the house. It's called my study. And she wants to get in there too. <laughs> and I put a sign, keep out. <laughs> because she doesn't like how my books are scattered. This is, she is a clean fanatic. Oh, she should make the advertisement called Mrs. Clean. <laughs> and I love it. I love a clean house. I love the smell of a fresh sheet and pillowcase. And so, she labors to keep the house clean. And baby... Now, she's, she gave me permission to say that I am the boss of the house. <laughs> he looked. Three years found nothing. No love, no joy, no peace. We have peace in our home. There are moments we could disagree. But I have learned the art of peace. Men, listen to me. Do not, for God's sake, answer your wife on every issue. <laughs> a woman, <clears throat> a man is, is right only twice in his life. When she says yes, and when he says no, men, you have lost your right. I love, I could never forget what um, Patel did for Candace Wedding. He uh, demonstrated something that stayed with me forever, and I love it. Said to the bridegroom, the dolaha, take your hand. Made the bride put her hand. Put your hand on top. Say, bridegroom, put your hand on top of your wife now. Because this is the last time you're going to get the upper hand. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Whatever, sir, it takes to keep peace in your home, you make the sacrifice. Do not back answer your wife. It will only create more argument because you know you're right. <laughs> no, sir, fellas? You know you're right. And she knows she's right. And if both of you claim right, <laughs> huh? 
husband, hear this boy, 45 years in it. Always say, whether you like it or not, it's lovely. <laughs> and that finished the argument. If you come now, you'll see Christmas tree already gone up. I said, babe, it's too early. No. I said, okay, you're right. <laughs> Don't bother. You can't win. She put this big bonnet on the mailbox. When I put up the flag from the house, I can't see the flag. <laughs> I don't know if the mail came because the flag is still up <laughs> or down. I said, babe, could you put a smaller one, please? No. <laughs> I like that. I said, yes, sweetheart. It looks beautiful. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. This is real. You want peace in your house? Agree with your adversary quickly. <laughs> so what you actually, Pastor Jerry, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you're, the, you're, the, you're the champion of agreeing. I know how she takes advantage of you. But you have the fruit of patience like nobody else. This guy too. See him here? Oh, these brothers. I don't know about you yet. I have to find I got to find out about you. What I'm saying is that fruit has to be born. It's not a gift. It's cultivated. You grow in it and it grows inside of you. Long suffering. I have the gift of long suffering. I've been married for 45 years. That's a gift. Oh. So let me stay close at home. Family life. There is nobody who is going to torment you more, attack you more, frustrate you more than the people in your own home. I didn't hear that. There's a mic up here. Say it again, brother. <laughs> so what happens? When you see people in the public, even if they offend you and they say sorry, oh, that's okay. But let your wife do it, no? Or let your children do it, no? The tiger in you comes out. <laughs> you macho in your own home. You better respect me. I'm the boss here. Might be true financially, you might be bringing more, sometimes the wife does. But you have to manifest the fruit of long suffering. How long have you been suffering? One week? Oh, come on. You just started the course 101. You should be in the marriage class. You'll hear about long suffering. But not just in the family where it's so obvious and it's so strong. That's where God wants you to be a Christian. In your home. Charity begins. Love should be shown. Patience should be exercised. Long suffering should manifest. When you can do it at home, you could do it anywhere else. No root, no fruit. If you're not rooted in Christ, in the body, you will never bear the fruit of the Spirit. It's not a gift. It's something that's cultivated and grow inside of you until you become like Christ. Because you've been grafted in him, you take his nature, his nature grows inside of you, and you will manifest all the qualities of Jesus Christ. No root, no fruit. 
No fruit. No future. The axe cut you off. Doom if you stunted like this. A mark. A red. When we wanted to cut trees down here, we take a spray can and we put a red X on every tree that has to be cut. I can see the red X in some people's lives. You got one more year. God is giving you time to manifest the Christ that's in you. The world don't want to see church members. The world don't want to hear sermons. They want to see them. Somebody said, go preach. Use words if you have to. Let your life be that shining example. Amen. Amen. So bloom where you're planted. Don't seek transplant unless it's necessary. God planted you in this body. I want you to be rooted here. Roots, let your roots go down deep so that your fruit will be abundant. Amen.